Pamela. Katulewe mkande wa fe Pamela. Okwata. Okwata. My name is Pamela Okwata. I have been having back aches for uh, slightly over 30 years, but uh, it, uh, it, it, it's, it has worsened with time. It uh, 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 got worse during uh, uh, the time that I was uh, having children. And uh, after that, in the year 2006, I was involved in a road accident uh, which made it become even worse and uh, because of this back pain I, I was not able to do much and live a, a normal active life that uh, any human being would like to live and uh, in the year 2012 I went to India for back surgery and I had some metal plates inserted uh, to hold my backbone and to straighten my spine. But uh, I, I felt better for a while, but after that I started going down again. So with the time, the backache is becoming worse and worse. I started wearing a corset uh, even before I went to India, like five years before I went to India. And I couldn't have, I, when I went to India after the surgery, they uh, uh, recommended that I continue wearing it. So uh, I, I've been wearing it, especially when I'm sitting down, because sit, prolonged sitting makes my back really ache, and uh, I cannot stand for a long time. I cannot walk for a long time. I cannot lift anything beyond uh, uh, two kgs. If I lift, I feel pain. I feel the weight on my back. So this, this is uh, uh, my medical report that confirms the the back and the, the surgery on the screen of a television is this medical report from sonar imaging center which belongs to sister pamela and this is why she was referred by dr nakitare and here they did various examinations on various aspects of her body first of all they examined her cervical spine and they found that there's reversal of the normal curvature of the cervical spine and they also found various aspects of other abnormalities within her cervical spine. They went ahead to examine her lumbar sacral spine, and this is what they found. They also examined her, both the knees. And in conclusion, this is what they came up with. They found that she has got cervical spondylosis, and they also found that she has got severe lumbar spondylosis, together with myofascial spasms, and also both of her knees are affected with osteoarthritis. This was all confirmed by the radiologist, Dr. Mosioki. For 30 years, she has severe pain in the back for which she wears this lumbar corset for support. She's the lady right now before the man of God. By the name Jesus Christ. The power of God has touched her already. Watch her being moved against her will. It is the power of the Holy Spirit moving her right now. As all the pain. Jesus. Watch what is happening, brethren. The power of God has thrown her to the floor. As all the bones of the back are being mended and the knees. In the name of Jesus Christ. Behave. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your peace. Rise up and go for your free. This is the day for Sister Pamela to be free. She's now rising up. This is the end of the 30 years of sickness. She's rising up to her freedom. In Jesus' mighty name. Watch the lady now. She's now removing the lumbar corset which has yes, been using for support. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. My name is Pamela Okwata. Uh, like I said, I've been having this back pain for slightly over 30 years, and with the time it has gotten worse and worse. Uh, in the process, I've seen so many doctors for the, for, for the back pain. I even went uh, to India and have surgery, but uh, the relief was short-lived, and I came back and then the backache started escalating again. So as the man of God prayed for me, now I'm not, I'm not feeling any pain. Not feeling any pain at all. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Walk. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, 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 Lord Jesus. Thank you. What happened to you when I touched you? Yeah, it just felt like my head was going round. And I kind of lost consciousness for a, while, a short while. Then I found myself down. Mm -hmm. Yes. After that, I, I saw your hand when I was down. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now? Now I'm feeling very light. A sickness of how many years? Um, over yeah. 30 years. Over 30 years. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank God. Now you are free. Hallelujah. Follow Thank Jesus. You. Thank you, Jesus, God, for healing me. Glory be to Jesus. There is healing in this house. My name is Agetud Maureen Awur. I come from Kenya. Uh, I got my injury on my knee which has been there for over 12 years now. I've worked in Matatu industry as a conductor for years. So one day I just went to work and uh, kind of uh, I was standing there, my leg just, my knee just popped and it was so painful. So I folded my knee so that the pain could go back. But uh, unfortunately my knee locked up. Then uh, I stayed for five years trying to use muscle gel. It never turned back. It went on swelling and swelling. My cousin rushed me to hospital. When I was taken to hospital, I was operated on. Before operation, the doctor said my ligaments were cracked. And I went through the surgery first time. After the surgery, for three years, I could not get out of bed. I could not move. I could not do much. I was being supported up and down. I had to go for the second surgery because it's like my kneecap was not well returned at the first surgery. Then it was done again. I had a full plaster again on. Coming 2013, that was 2010 when I got the injury. In 2013, the doctor decided that I was going to be amputated, that my leg will be amputated. When the doctor said my leg will be amputated, my family and my friends sat down together and they decided that we should try a plan B. So our plan B was to go to India. I went to India had my other third surgery. I left India on one crutch, but I went to India when I was not walking. When I arrived in India after the surgery, I came back walking on one crutch. I've been in this pain since then, that's 2014 when I came back from India. So from 2010 to 2014, I was down and being supported and all that. After 2014, when I came back from India, I've been managing some things by myself running up and down. For now, I can't walk for long. I can't stand for long. I'm always on my compressor stockings. And most of my errands are being limited because I can't do much. I, I didn't even go. I didn't even go back to the Matatu industry to work because <coughs> I'm not that driven. And this is my medical report that I came with from India that confirms my condition. This is a medical report from Apollo Hospitals in Hyderabad in India where Sister Gertrude Maureen Awal 
was referred by Dr. Prabhat Reddy. And here they did an MRI of her right knee. And you can see all these are the findings by the doctors. We shall focus on this paragraph here. They made a diagnosis of degenerative changes of her knee joint. And they also found forms of spiking of the tibial intercondylar eminence. These are signs of osteoarthritis. And also you can see that she has got reduced joint spaces within the knee together with patella osteophytes. These are outgrowths of bones on the kneecap. That is why she has so much pain and you can see that she wears this special sock which the doctors gave her to help her. And she has suffered like this for 12 years. Once upon a time, there was a land. And this land, when you are standing here, you can see here it is not a big hill. It's like a hill. It goes like this, and then it goes like this. Here down, there is like a valley. Now, from this side of valley, this one, there was a land. Before you got all this problem. So this is the land in question. That is why they treat you. It is not going. They do this. It is not going. Kindly, man of God, I didn't get you clearly about the land where I was standing. I say, this is like a hill. Yeah. And another hill. Hill, yeah. Not those big, big hills. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But down one hill, mm. there was a land. Yeah. Before you got all this, yeah. You people went to that land. Yeah. My name is Gertrude Maureen, a world from Kenya. What man of God has said is true. I think I went there because I've been trying to get a place for my brothers to build a house. We are orphans. I only have two brothers who are sick. They are my elder brothers and they're, they're down. So I'm the one who supports them. And there is a land on the hill that we are trying to get where my parents built, but our house was dropped down. It fell down, so there is no house there. There's just a foundation that is left with my father and my dad's grave. This is why you see, you go to India, you go everywhere, you try to treat, but it doesn't go. And you too, you're asking, others get children, but me, why? Thank you, man of God. Whenever you dream, you dream that you are at the same place, what is it? This is my mom. This is the mom? Yeah, this is the, the sister to my mom. My mom died, and she's the one who follows my mom. Hey. Yeah, and she's the one who brought me here. I thank her so much. Okay, let's hear from her. Man of God, what you said about the land is true. When you go to their home, their home, it's like um, when you're coming from the, there's a road, a main road where vehicles pass, and then you go around the corner, on your left to get to the home. And as you go to the home, it's like you are climbing the hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't get to the top of the mm -hmm. hill. The home is uh, in between before you get to the top uh, of the I hill. Know the place. Yes. Because the road still goes like this and it goes. Yeah, the road continues. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Have I ever been there? No. <laughs> Yes, man of God, I confirm that to be true. There was a, a, a piece of land that uh, her grandfather's brother uh, gave to her father to build. So that's where her father built their home. But after their grandfather died, the uncles uh, started having squabbles over the issue of that land. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to drive their family away. The man of God has said is true. Uh, I've been trying so hard to go there so that I can get back our house up. In fact, before the house fell down completely, the roof only goes out. I went to get fundies to get back the roof. My uncle refused that I'm not supposed to return that roof. 
that I'm a lady in the home, that is my brothers were supposed to do that. The problem is my brothers are grounded, my, my elder brother is an architecture. The other brother of mine is being a mechanic or he can make shoes. And then I lost a sister and a brother, but now I'm the only left, I'm the youngest, and I'm taking care of the two brothers who are now down. I've been trying so much to get them a house, to get them a roof over their head. The house is down, and the, your brother, your sister, they are also down. My two brothers are down, my sister died, and my twin sister <laughs> died, and my other brother died. Man of God, after both the parents died, mm. the same uncle went and removed the roof of the parents' house. He removed the whole roof and only left the walls. The problem, the cause. Do I know you people? No, no man of God. Have you ever talked to me? No man of God. It's my first time to see you. I've just been seeing you on TV. Now that the cause has been revealed, now we are going to take the problem away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Healing is going on for Sister Gertrude in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No one is touching her. The Holy Spirit is driving her towards her complete deliverance. This is her time. Watch the lady now. She's running. Amen. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I can't feel a pain anymore on my leg. Amen. My leg is healed. My leg is healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. She's yes, now removing the special sock. Thank you, Lord Jesus. She has been wearing this special sock. Thank you, Lord Jesus. She has removed it, brethren. My leg is healed. Jesus. I feel a relief. I feel a relief. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Clap, clap for Jesus, the wonderful healer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, with glory, 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 God himself stretching his arm which is called Christ Jesus. Amen. To take our sorrow, to take our grief and gives us joy. <laughs> to 27 and 28 of Daniel Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king has demanded, the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, and the soothsayers cannot declare to the king. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets. He has made known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. Your dreams and visions of your head upon your bed was these. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secret. He has revealed the secret, the cause of her sickness to Sister Gertrude. 
So all this time she didn't know why she is sick. She's asking God, God, what did I do to you? Tell me. If a day comes and you tell me why I'm sick, what I did to you, I'll be happy. That is her prayer. God, what did I do to you? Yeah, that has been my prayer. Yeah, man of God, that has been my prayer. What you are saying, what you are saying has been my prayer. I've been asking God what I did wrong to deserve this suffering. But he says, search for me. Yes. Did you take trouble to search for him? Or you continue to complain? Isaiah 55. Search for me. Start from verse 1. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Mm -hmm. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why do you spend money on what's not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Verse 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he'll have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Thank you, Jesus. This attempt, you should seek for God. Anything lack in your life, seek for God. He will eventually pardon you, eventually answer you. Now, has he answered your question, God? Yes, the ma yes, man of God, he has answered my question. Correctly? Yeah, man of God. Do I Thank know you? you? No, you don't know Have me. you ever seen me? No, I've only seen you on TV. This is the Kakande ministry. This is how Kakande ministers. This is the Kakande ministries, Kampala, Uganda. Mm. <laughs> we are a life changing ministry. Determined to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the four corners of the world. Many international visitors have come to experience the special touch of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm reading 12.4 of 1 Corinthians. There are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another working of miracle, to another prophecy, to another discerning of the spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but one and the same spirit works all these things, disputing to each one individually as God wills. One spirit, but the manifestation are, are, so the ministry is one, but the people of God minister in different, different, so you may be ministering, but in a different way, I minister. But this is how Kakande minister. <laughs> so how are you feeling, sister? My name is Agetud Maureen Awar. Thank you, man of God. And I also say thank you to Jesus. When you prayed for me, I feel like there was a, a law, tie, something tying my leg tightly. And when you are praying for me, as I was going around, I feel like something was just plucked off from my leg, mm -hmm. and I felt so free. Me, uh, and I thank God. 
you saw the reason why I knelt down. Since after the surgery, I have not been able to kneel down. I could not kneel on my knees. And uh, I could not even kneel to pray. When I want to pray, I cannot put this leg down. I could not squat. And that's why you saw me jump down and even try to kneel down and to bend to see if I could. And for sure I can. Like now I've been sitting here folding my leg for some minutes and I don't feel any pressure in my leg. I feel like this is a new leg given to me today. And I All thank right. God. I thank God. So now what do you have to say about Jesus? It isn't that you didn't know him. But now what do you I say about him? him? Jesus is patient to, to us, to what I will go through. He cares. Because if he didn't care, I would have been amputated and now I'll be having one leg. And because of his care, he knew this time will come for me to get my relief. And that's why he's taken care of me this fine time. Now, mm. work not yet. I'm going to pray for you mm. to get a land of your own. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. This particular land is after the school. <laughs> There is a school. Yeah. When you are going to this school, you pass the rock. On the ground, there is a rock. Yeah. You step on the rock like this, like this. Then yes. the school there. Yeah. I want you to remember this school because that is where the land is. I see the school. There are two schools. There's one school this side across the other road, but there's one school ahead, Kambajo Primary, just ahead of us. Where well, there are the rocks, yeah. There are rocks as you go, it's not a smooth road. There are rocks. Yeah, there are rocks. There are no smooth road. Is, is that because the home where I come from, we don't have a lake. We have this water, this stagnant water. So there are rocks, so many, there are many places with rocks. So, so there has a lot of Is that a bad place for you? No. It's not a bad place for me. Okay, let me pray for you. Mm -hmm. Within this year, you're going to get money and uh, you're taken there to buy the land. It is um, a big land. Yes? And uh, within the two years, it is that you have finished your building. What else do you want? Father, thank you for this land. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, you meet Mr. Odu. I don't know how they call Od Ed Oduori or Odur. Od Odi. Odwar. 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 Mm. Yeah? Yeah, Odwar. Yeah, there you find Mr. Odwar. Mm. There you are at the land. What is the Lord. Blessed, Blessed be to the name of the Lord. So, I praise the it Lord. is over. Okay, you said, God. which work are you doing? I've worked in Matatu as a conductor for many years. But and you were got... supposed to be a teacher. Who plucked you out of teaching? Uh, man of God, what you've said is true. But uh, my father passed on when I was just getting into my fourth form in 1995. So after my fourth form, my mom was jobless and I could not continue with my education. And I really wanted to be a teacher at that time. Uh, thank you, man of God. So now I do now I do business. I've opened a small business which I started recently. You are a teacher. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank and you. on that land, you are going to build a school. <laughs> I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank that you, man is of God. Why you are taken near the school. Oh, bless. And always, be it name. is now eight years. You dream that you are walking into a school like yes. this. And you yes. say, what type of school am I walking into? Yes. I don't know. You yes. are seeing children it's around true. you. You say, God, mm. I, don't, I don't understand all this. It's true, man of God, what you said is true. There's a time I had a dream that I was getting into the school. 
and I was seeing children and the kids were really running up and down. And I asked myself, why am I getting into school? Yes, I've taken care of orphans. I live with your orphans. Your excellence, this is your school. How oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And these things will not delay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because the MP of your area has come. Oh, you are friends. Jesus. Say, why don't you start a school here? And oh, they have given you the Lord. money. Mm. What else do you want? Lord. Yes, you thank God and praise God. I praise God. This is the day. 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 You're free. You come back to give your testimony. Second Peter one twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. There is a lady here, you have six children, two from another father and four from another father. But what you're going through is not easy. The second marriage is also failing. Now you are disgusted, you don't know what to do, you just want to leave everything. That's why you are here, you say the situation I cannot manage. Come on for prayer. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. There is a lady who has come forth to confirm this prophecy for her deliverance. Let us listen to her. My names are Maureen Hayoga Mayamba. I come from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm here to confirm what the man of God has said. And it's 100% true. I have four kids from another father and two from another father. And things have not been working out. Even I was just losing hope about the marriage. Things have been difficult. My kids are not going to school. We have so many debts. And sometimes we even sleep hungry. And sometimes I feel as if the husband is not taking care of my other four kids. So I saw as if... This marriage won't work because things have been so difficult. Really, the situation is not good for you. And this is the issue brought you here. It's God. not that you are sick, but this is the issue brought you here. Yes, man of God, it's true. So, Kakande Minister will help you with the 100,000 Kenya shillings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. May God bless you so much. Thank Office, you. Please give me 100,000. This is good. The 100,000 Kenya seed. Go and do your business. You come back within six months to give testimony. My name is Aramu Somundi. I come from Kenya. And uh, man of God, what I've been going through, it doesn't place me. Even in our family, there is nothing that we can do that we can gain. If we leave God and desert Him, what really happens to us and our children? It's a curse. Now you check your father's life. I don't say he's a bad man or whatever. No. 
your family lived at a place near the stream or near the river? I can confirm that it is true. Where we lived, it's just like a valley and now, there is a river down. That is where poverty started. Too much extreme poverty. That is true, man of God. The father tried or oh, whatever. Yes. He couldn't manage. Yes, true. The mom was complaining all the time. Yes, that is true. At least can't you look for something to, to do to achieve something? The man said, I have tried everything, but what do you want me to do? I don't want to steal. What the man of God is saying is true, because my father was employed at a university called Masen in Kenya, and he was retrenched in 1997. So from that time, he didn't have anything to do. So we are uh, always looking after him. My younger brothers and sister were still going to school, so he was the one who is capable to look for school fees for them, but he can't manage. Extreme poverty. That's why I said, if you leave God, what do you expect? Your father left God. Yes, what a man of God said is true. Since I was born, I never see my father go to church. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 14. So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, mm. to the right or to the left, mm -hmm. to go after other gods to serve them. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, mm. to observe carefully all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Mm -hmm. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the country. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your body, and the produce of your land, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Cursed shall you be when you come in, cursed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will send on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all you set your hand to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings in which you have forsaken me. Is that what is happening? Yes, true. Your father forsake the Lord, his God. He didn't consider God as something important in his life. He failed to gather the riches from his God. Now it is your turn to turn to God. If you want to gather the riches from God, the father, the family had some cows and they had donkeys. My real grandfather, mm. he has many cows. My uncle has donkeys, who is the brother to my father. Come. Because I should go there and see what is going on by the blood of Jesus. Father, I introduce him to family. I introduce you to the family of God in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Father, Jesus. I accept him. My name is Jerobia Mifindaka from Namibia. Man of God, I want to know what is the reason behind my suffering, stagnation, poverty? You people left a family and you went to create another family. Yes, sir. The land where they were staying, yes, sir. they are resulted wrangles. What you have said is true, sir. It's very, very true. I remember that um, my father married my mother in exile in Angola. In 1990, when uh, Namibia got independence, he came in Namibia. They came to settle in my uh, grandfather's house. So they didn't want my mother till today. You are choosing of being a land grabber or a property grabber. I confirm that, sir, because uh, the, now currently we are having a certain plot in Windhoek in a place called Ochomese. 
And when we came in that plot, people in the surrounding, they just started hating us, jealousy everywhere. You dream that people are chasing you? Very much so. In ah. the dream, or just coming from a certain hill. Mm. Down a little bit like this, people were chasing me from that place. Then I was like, where, where do I go now? It's true, man of God. Now I pray for you, God, to give you your own. Otherwise, this is not by the blood of Jesus. Come on. Father, give him his own land, his own property, plus the cows in Jesus' holy name. My name is Tekla from Namibia. Men of God, I just like to know, wherever I go, I'm just rejected. My family, they are not together. Once your parents love you and you go out in the community, you think that the community will love you the same way your parents loved you. Okay. Yes. I... Now, if you find another picture, they're not treating you the way they were treating you before. You feel these people are not sincere. Yes. So this is the problem you have been carrying once a beloved daughter. Yes, many of God. I can confirm that I've been a, a beloved daughter to my parents, especially to my mother, because I just grown up with my mother. I grown up, I moved out from the house and I went to be on my own day. And Where is your husband? This is the first question. No, I don't have a husband. Where is the medium man? I was married prophet to the medium man. And then he went late in 2002. And even that marriage was a lot of, and was many rejected because his family was not even one me. I only went to that house the day of his burial. So this is what is going on now in your life. You feel that you have never been loved. Yes, man of God, it's true. Why don't you now acquire Christ Jesus, who loves us more? Let me just pray for you. The man of Jesus Christ. They were out by the blood of Jesus. Go. What happened? You and the three women, regards to witchcraft, you went to a place with the three women. That time I was sick, men of God. And they tricked you. Yes. You drank things from there. Yes. The things you drank there, these are the things which are troubling your life. Even the dream, you see you are at the same place, witchcraft. Men of God, what you say is true. I confirmed the, the prophecy that there were the three women that took me to the witch doctors because that time I was sick. That witch made me to drink those things. And ever since the things is not even moving. Always I just dreaming bad things. She need to go and vomit it out because it was put inside her. The mighty name Jesus. Take her to vomit. You are okay, you are all right, and you go to which doctor? Watch on the screens of a television, brethren. The man of God has prayed for this lady, and now she's being delivered through vomiting out whatever witchcraft that she drank. My name is Emma from Kenya. In my family, we have rejection. I am not married. I don't have a job. I live by borrowing people or people helping me to survive. Don't worry. I'll pray for you. But I but, want you to remember the house or the family which had a clar.
what man of God have said is true. In our home we have these homes of the cows. So this is where the problem came from. Yes. And uh, they started um, complaining, misunderstandings about yes. the land. True, true, true. Up to a point, the brother to my father, after my dad died, he want us to go away. They said that your father was mistakenly brought to occupy the land. Very true, very true. Because the place that we had built, they said that we should push away to give them the space. And they took some trust that we had planted, but they just they cut them off. So this is the issue? Yes. Why don't you follow Jesus, that he gives you what is yours? True. That rejection, whatever, no more receive from Jesus Christ. Jesus, give her her own. Take from Jesus. Father, thank you. Brother, the boy you rejected, is he still following you? <laughs> to be true, I've rejected many. <laughs> the tall one is like this. There is a guy, he looks exactly like him. Is he still following you? We still talk. He will not manage you, leave him alone. <laughs> because of the mental issue in the family, things are not well. Man of God, I'm called Lynn Odera. I'm from Kenya. The mental problem we've said is 100% true because I lost my sister who was not mentally well. So the whole family, if you see the other father has somebody mental, the sister of the father had two mental. 100% <laughs> true. So this is the issue, even with you. The In way fact, you, you dream is so weird. It's bad, it's bad. I just hold grudge with anybody. That's what I do, I'm a bitter person. It and not, arrogant. No, 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 no. It is not bitterness. It is madness. Oh my God, I didn't know. That anger you feel is not bitterness. It's madness. Yeah. Because even if yeah. somebody has not done anything to you, you look at him and say, hmm. Eh, that is me. That is me. You want to attack I him. look at you and I'm like, why are you looking at me? Stop looking at me. Then I attack you. Then I don't talk to you. Sister. This is sickness. It is not the anger. Man of God, help me. What you said is true about the mental problem in our family. Please rescue me. And man of God, anytime I get a job, I'm being fired. No, 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 no. Because of madness. Come. <laughs> you do things in a muddy way. Don't worry. Jesus is the hand of God. He created us all with love. Look at me. You to your feel something leaving you. Say, hey, this is true. This is true. This is true. Something has left him. You are not a bad person. You are not a bad woman. But you just feel something. Perhaps you want to hear. But what you've said, man of Jesus, God. Devil, go, go, and come back. Hey! Ouch. Hey! The hey! Hey! Our sister is being delivered from the spirit of madness. Madness, Jesus. Father, I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction. Go. Father, I thank you. We bless your holy name. Rise up. There was a story of the grandma. This story again came to your mom. It is that your grandma was grabbed, pulled the other hand and me the other hand. I've understood. Mm -hmm. Because even my, my grandmother is a second wife. The grandfather got her from somebody. Ah. Your mom also, the same story. Same, man of God, you're saying the truth. Because my mother is also a second wife, that is. 
she too was grabbed from another man. Yeah, man of God, I, I know, because my mom came with my sister in the marriage, but we've never known, it's a secret. I was just told recently. Yeah. She has never told us. Now, because of this, her grandmom was grabbed, things didn't go well. From the man where she was grabbed from, they sent witchcraft so that the grandmom become mad. Those demons were carried on to your mom. The same story, her story, the same story, the same story is now coming to you to distract your life. Man of God, what you've said is true. Man of God in our family, nobody is stable completely. Me, myself, I thought I couldn't even drive. I know I cannot have a vehicle. I cannot man anything because I know I'm useless. So I'm just waiting to die. You... Yeah. Then now when I watch your clip, I'm like, hey. You have a hope. Somebody is poor, 90 years old. He's now driving a Mercedes. <laughs> then I will also drive. I will. <laughs> hey. I'm shocked. Why? Thank you, man of God. You are genius. Spectacular. You are unique, my friend. <laughs> Jesus is unique. You are almost following Jesus immediately. I'm a friend to Jesus. Hi, you are man of God. Thank well, you so much. What a friend you have in Jesus. Oh, all our sins, sins and grace to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Listen. Oh. oh. What peace we often forfeit, oh, what needless pain we bear. It's all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Man of God, there's a friend of mine who came here. She told me, watch Kakande. I watched you one week, I packed my bags. My husband, where are you going to? I'm going to see Pastor Kagande face to face. I want to know everything. Then I traveled. I didn't even think twice to Have come to you. Have you got what you came for? I've, yeah, I've, as in I'm even relieved. I'm light. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm always, if I see, I say, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh -huh. I'm always like that. But now? Now, I, I just love everybody now. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I want to give you a simple business. Thank you, man of God. And but that is why I listen, came. With a blessing. Thank you, man of God. You take a small course. Yes. But we shall start with cooking food. That is my that is what I do. You cook food? I'm in hotel industry. That is what I went to school for. Hotel and management. That is the course because I did. I saw you in a simple place like this. And you were cooking. Too busy, too busy. And yes. people are buying like... Man of God, I like... even discussed it with my friends who are uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. I told them, look at this Ugandans cooking matoke. Mm. Everybody sitting down eating matoke. Even me, I can do it. I told them in the room. That is what you are going to do. Oh my God, that is what I okay. want. Thank you, Jesus. Office, give me 100. I give to my daughter to oh go and cook. God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you so much. Thank you, man of God. They Did... will hire you even to go abroad just to cook for them. Man of God, the person who showed me here, yeah. I told her, Liz, as in we were texting in the WhatsApp, have you seen man of God? I said, if I see man of God, I will hug him for two hours. <laughs> then I'm, he's like, you can't. Now, the <laughs> blessing you have got, Thank you so much, man of God. Be blessed. The blessing you have got is a hug for two hours. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ah, you see we are hugging. Thank you so much.
To God be the glory. Yeah. Now people will ask questions. What happened? Yeah, they are going to ask. I know. My name is Shiambika Songo from Zambia. Man of God, I want to ask a question because from my childhood up to date, I live a life of too much sorrow. From the house where was flowers? Yes, in Copper Belt where I was born, in Kitwe. That is where the sorrow started. What the man of God is saying about my life, it's very true. Because I was born in Copper Belt and the, where we are, we are staying, there was flowers. Why I mentioned it, the place where there was flowers or the home. True man of God. It was because of your mom's issue. True man of God. Your mom's issue had a pressure from another man. True man of God, because my mom was married at first, and he told me that the certain lady throw away from that man and ran away, and my two siblings, they are there, she don't know where they is. And she came to marry at yes. your father? Yes, she came to marry my father, and that so was true. with the pressure of the other man, this, your father, the way they met with your mom, it is that your mom was a little bit disappointed and decided to go with your father. True, man. Yet God. the other man loved your mom too much. True, man. And the, the other man said, Hey, woman, you are going. Things will never work for you. I sold my land to marry you, and you do this, you run away from me. Oh, God, it will never be well with you. That's why even. Your father died premature, the things come, no marry you, you marry, things go wrong. What the man of God is saying about my life, it's very true. When I was at school, Papa was sick and I dropped out of school because I was no one to support me. I got into marriage, the first marriage I stayed four years, my husband passed on and I remained with two kids. I stayed for one year, my dad also passed away and he left me with my siblings. At God knows, he will show you the way how to, keep, to take care of your siblings. True man of God. And you dream that somebody is closing door for you. True man of God. Even on 17th July, I dreamed about the same thing and I woke up. Help me, man of God. That's why I'm here. I just have a dream about you. And God told me that this is the place for your divine encounter. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I command the spirit of killing, steal, destruction. Go out. Out. Get saved. To God be the glory. My name is Sabina Mweni from Kenya. My parents passed away. I've been struggling with my siblings. They don't love each other. It's me who has been struggling with my sister who stays at home with her kids. My children are sick and on and off. Don't worry, don't worry, everything will be okay. But the land which had a purple, you come from down, you come up like this, as you are settling like this, there was the land, and that land had a purple tree. Very true. I confirm that there's a land which has a purple and it has a problem. It belongs to my parents, and ever since my parents were there, it has been having wrangles till my parents passed on, and even now it has rankles. Mm, that is where curses, misfortune, whatever comes from. You cannot settle. You started well, but this is going on. It's not good by the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Rise up. I'll give you something. All of you, I'll give you something. Amen. Your business, whatever you do, will never be the same again. Bernadette Ochiel, I'm from Kenya. God blessed me with the six children. And all of them, none is working. I'm the only one who gets pension and support the whole family. You had a woman who was feeding your family. Yes. This is where the problem came from. What man of God has said is true. There is my auntie who, whom when I got married, was taking care of me 
and feeding the whole family and getting employment to everybody in the family. You disrespected the woman. She said, hey, I have done all this for you and this is the treatment you give me. Let me leave you. You never see any blessing in life, you and your children. So this is what she cursed you. Yes, it is true. There's a time my auntie went abroad because he never got children. And he left the property to my husband. Then they started quarreling over the, over the property. My husband was saying, you left me the property to collect the money, not to keep for you, uh, to use that money. So he died there, and he came, we buried him to the husband who chased her away. The money from the property, her husband never gave her any coin, he just eat. The woman said, hey, I took care of you, and you eat even my money, you people share the curse. Your children cannot get job, cannot be better because you stole. What man of God is saying is very, very true, 100% true. Come, I pray for you. You bring your daughters, your, your children, I pray for them. Don't complain because you ate it all. <laughs> what can I say? They ate it all. All the soup, all the whatever, they ate it all. Now she's complaining. You ate the best. I'm Alice Ndiwa from Kenya. My question is, I wanted to know the root cause of poverty in my family. Even the day I was coming here on Tuesday, my daughter-in-law ran away, left the children with my son because of poverty. I want you to look over there, those trees. And the house near those trees. What man of God is saying is true, it is our home. There are trees behind the house of my father. Yes. So this is where poverty started. Yes. Yes, man of God is true. And the father got something which failed to pay, and he got confused nearly to run away from the place. It is true, man of God. So let me put something in your hand, isn't it? What man, what man of God is saying is true. My father took some money, bought a vehicle, and the vehicle was taken by his friend, and it seems as if he did not pay the money. <laughs> can now rise up. What happened? That power is too much for me. Yeah? That power is too much for me. Say it again. That power is too much for me. That power is to push you to your riches. That power is to remove you from poverty. Say that power. That power. If I'm to reach the money, the job, the good life, the business, there must be power to push me to reach that business, to reach that prosperity, to reach that house, mention, mention what you want to reach. I want to reach a good job. I want to reach a good house. I want to reach this. I want mention, mention now, mention now. Mention, because that power should be too much. Yes, please, mention, mention. Mention, mention. Lord Jesus, that great power. Touch me with that great power so that I can reach ABC dimension. Mention, mention, mention what you want to reach. In Jesus' holy name. Purity Wanyaga from Nairobi, Kenya. Mm. You say you are going to travel. You didn't travel. Yes, man, of course. But I'm wondering why I said you did not travel. I want to travel, man. I'm asking you. you said you want to travel. I want to travel, man of God. It is two years yes. you say that you want to travel. Yes, man of now God. Now when I saw you here, I got surprised. I said, hey, you didn't travel. No. <laughs> it has been my prayer request, man of God. It's even here. 
in my Bible, I want to travel. It has been my prayer request. Uh, it's true, man of God, what you have said is very, very correct. I want to go to United States of America. It is now two years. You said you want to travel. Yes, man of God, it's two After years. After you two people went, you said you too, you want to travel. Yes, man of God. Then I knew that you had traveled. <laughs> so I was wondering to see you here. I said, hey, you didn't travel. That's why I asked, you didn't travel. So why you didn't travel? I'm trying all my best to travel, but all is in vain. Rejection, delays, and just suffering, man of God. It is Christ Jesus to show you the way. Yes? Because you need the hand of God. The hand of God is Christ Jesus. Now I touch you with the hand of Jesus to show you the way, how to travel by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. The Magnum Jesus. Be free in Jesus. Don't worry. My name is Dorcas Musava and I come from Kenya. My problem is rejection, poverty. Your problem is from the books. Yes, man of God. What you did to the books, this is what is being done to you. Yes, man of God, it is true. Because it was studies to promote you, to make you somebody. Yes, but man of God. But what you did to the books, it is what is being done to you. Yes, man of God. I got pregnant when I was in school. Because you shattered the book, you closed the books to your face, and said, ah, books, pop. Yes, man of God. They were rejected the books. That is the way they reject you everywhere. Yes, it is true. I rejected them. Man Ask of God. God to forgive you. God forgive me for rejecting my books. So you need that much power to push you to your goal. Say, I need that much power to push me to that goal. Jesus, Jesus, I need that much power, need that much power <laughs> to, push to push me to where I'm going, I'm going. To, push to push me into prosperity. My name is Florence. I've been in America for 15 years, and my, my youngest son, who came in 2018, he has not been home. He doesn't even listen to me. He, and my mom just passed. We buried her one week ago. And it was my mother's favorite grandson, but he didn't come. I even came with my son here, the firstborn. But it's like uh, something is not right because he even don't come home. No, um, even when you are pregnant, something used to attack you. That's you, true. You feel, <clears throat> then you wake up. Yes, he almost came out like premature. But I went to the hospital and I got treatment until it so was my So these same job. spirits are the same spirits on the boy troubling him. Thank God he's not mad, but this is the issue. He's not alone. Thank you, man of God, for telling me you that. You just need deliverance. You came with your son. No, the one who is here is the oldest, who is fine. But the, the young is one he? is in America. My firstborn is right there. Arnold, you can come on. Okay, let me pray for you. So th this is just an evil spirit for their children. The madman, Jesus Christ. Don't worry. Come up, come up. That should be that. Father, they are children. Oh Lord Jesus, set them free. He was supposed to be an engineer, but what happened to you? My name is Arnold Gichana. Mm. I'm from Kenya. 
I wanted to be an engineer back in the day when I was a kid. I decided to drop that course because my cluster points were not adding up. So I decided to go for another course. Make sure he's going to study to become an engineer, if not. Thank you. Yeah, he so, already did a curious science, so he can be an engineer. Man of God, my name is Joyce Awuro Kuna. I come from Kisi. Where is the proud boy? His son. This is my husband. I haven't gotten any child yet, but he has a kid. He's a very proud boy. He doesn't like me. <laughs> okay, let's listen from him. Man of God, what you said is true. <laughs> he has a very proud boy, but he doesn't like me. Because I saw proud boys. Yes. <laughs> Did I say, eh? Let us hear from very him. <laughs> My name's uh, Victor Cheng. <laughs> I'm from Kenya. I, I have a son who is about 25 years old. <laughs> And uh, he doesn't get along with her stepmom here. He is proud. <laughs> he doesn't have bad heart, but he's just proud. To anybody, it's too much. <laughs> so you bring him one day. Tell him Pasakande loves you. That greater power you need. That, that power you need. Say, I need that greater power. I need that greater power. That greater power. I need, I need it to push me to, push me. to my goal. goal. Mention your goal. Mention your goal. Because without power, Razas wouldn't have come from the grave. My name is Joyce Mugala. I come from Zambia. My mother, 2017, she died. The same problem I have: high blood pressure. My brother, her, her daughter again, she she is six. Same problem. I want to know, man of God, please. Don't worry too much. Let me pray for you. Thank you. Out, devil, out. Come out, devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Devil, out. Lose your grip. What have you done to her family? Finish her. Finish her. Why? Men too. She's mine. It is your day today to quit. Oh. Clap for Jesus. What happened? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Hmm? How are you feeling now? Eh? I have a pain of stroke. My pain is gone. Thank you, Jesus. But you people had a fat woman, and uh, this fat woman was selling alcohol. Man of God, what you have said is true. Your family had a certain drink which is not authorized people to drink, and this has brought sickness to you people. It is a local brew and it is not good for your bodies. My name is Joyce Mugala. I'm from Zambia. Family man of God is on Pemperera. Then he is a prophecy. The problem is facing an anayo. It is a family that is a family that is a family that is I'm here to confirm the prophecy the man of God gave me about the fat woman who was making beer. And my parents used to go there to drink the same alcohol. They were using maize and millet, they put it into water, they wait for three days, then they remove it, they put it in the sack and they tie the sack. After the maize and the millet begin to shoot, then they remove it from the sack and dried it up and pound it, then they make the same beer. And up to date, that alcohol, the government of Zambia doesn't allow it because it destroys the lungs and the liver. So, man of God, when I come and was on. Naitwa Patrick Omamo, Natoka, Kenya, Nairobi. Niko na shida mingi sana karibu miaka. Biggest problem. You have never believed yourself. Ideako kubwa haujawahi jiamini mwenyewe. 
ni ukweli everything you do they take it out from you kabisa kila kitu unafanya wanaichukua kutoka kwako Nimeamini unapi wa pastor Kakande I believe the prophecy of the man of God prophet Samuel Kakande yeyote ameongea kuhusu mimi ni ya ukweli Everything he has said about me is true Sana sana kujiamini hiyo ni ukweli kabisa 100% He has said that I don't believe in myself that is true Kwa sababu nimefanya kazi kwa muda na ile pesa napata siji inaenda wapi I've been working for a long period of time but I cannot tell or see where my money is going. Ile na pia amesema yote ni ya ukweli. What the man of God has said is true. What is your question? Swali. Naomba nisaidiwe nimeteseka miaka mingi sana. Paka ule bibi niliacha ushako anaacha watoto akanifuata Nairobi. Na ule niko naye pia niko na shida nyingi sana. I asked to be assisted because the wife I left in the village she followed me to the city I have a lot of She problems. did the best because she loves you. Alifanya you, you wanted her to marry the house. Alifanya vyema manake alikufuata. Ulitaka aoe nyumba? Hapana. No. Let me pray for you to get money. Wacha likuombe upate pesa. I wish I see the woman. Ningependa ni mwone. Woman. Ni mwone huyo dada. Wanted her to marry the house. Ulitaka aoe nyumba? Woman you are lucky God bless you Dada uko mabarikiwa Mungu akubariki I am prophet G Terence from Cameroon Your Our... issue is disappointment Whenever you pray you say God Did you call me Do you love me Why am I so disappointed like this you so you are almost frustrated What you are saying is true man of God I was in fasting for Ten days, mm -hmm. no food, no water. After the fasting, I felt sick, seriously. And I saw you when I was sick. You came to me, and through you, I was delivered because I saw you would prophet with Joshua. Who told you to fast the ten days? The Holy Spirit. No. Your frustration is. It was not the Holy Spirit. Can, the Holy Spirit cannot lead you to fasting death. You were frustrated from where you started, the people you started with, you got almost. You try to pray, you pray, things do not come out. You say, God. What you are saying, man of God, is true. It's very true. It's due to frustration because my spiritual father, when he passed on to glory, uh, Senior Prophet Frank in Cameroon, my brothers, uh, they, they rejected me and they hate me with passion in the ministry. Did you leave the place at the school? Yes, man of God. What you said is true. I love the place. Help me to get back my strength. I want to get back my strength. My name is Olive and I'm from Kigali, Rwanda and a man of God I have three major problems that are putting my life on a standstill, three major problems and one is that uh, I want to know the root cause why I have been unemployed for the last five years. The war issue is the marriage issue. And I'm not married as a man of God as well. Your people started complaining about marriage, they yes, thought man of you were misbehaving, they talked a lot. What you've said is correct, man of God. Uh, people have been complaining why I've not been married, saying I'm a very proud girl and I chase men away, but I, in actual sense, I get rejections from men. And um, so I don't know what's the root cause. No, this and is a deep mother's issue. And completely 200%. Don't say anything. Let me pray for you. You get married, you get a good job, but the mother's issue. By the blood of Jesus. My name is Gladys Mwila. I'm from Zambia. Man of God, my question is, I have run two businesses. One, a factory for mineral water. It fell. The another one, I ran a, a factory for block making and uh, 
pavers it also it fell. was after the house issue that all the things happened enlightened me a man of god there was a house the house is not all that too big and they wanted you people out of the house what you said is very true i built a three roomed house at my mother's place and my brothers and sisters wanted me to move away from that place i wish you knew you wouldn't have done that so many people even seated here okay before they went to their home area to build there i don't say i hate your home area but once you go there to develop something is as if you stole money from them what you have said man of god is very true Be before i built at that place i was just okay mm. but immediately after i built there that's when issues started in my life that is the cause they brought witchcraft they brought whatever all sorts of witchcraft mm. until the accident to finish you you see what you have said is true man of god they wanted to die in an accident so that they forget about you what did you do to them it's Sometimes. true man of god i i once had an accident that almost killed me when i was coming from south africa so it is from that time you dream still that they are chasing you true man up of god up to today they are chasing you with the panga they are chasing you with the stick they are chasing you with whatever true that man of god that is why everything you are doing collapse come i pray for you very true man of god in the name of jesus christ devil but up up boom what have you done to her life out Set her out. I don't want her to be a millionaire. I don't like the husband she's married. What have you done to her factories? I killed all of them and I want to kill the bakery that she wants to do. Lose your grip. Back and no. This is the Cook and Ministries Kampala, Uganda. We are a life-changing ministry. Determined to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the four corners of the world. Many international visitors have come to experience the special touch of our Lord Jesus Christ.